Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Karachi, which is a mega city in Pakistan along the Arabian Sea. This city has some extreme food and food in the masses. And so today I'm meeting up with my friend Ali and Sharuz and they're gonna take me on a Karachi street food tour. We're gonna eat some unbelievable Pakistani food. This is going to be the ultimate street food tour of Karachi. We just arrived at the first restaurant. This place is called Javed Nihari. We're here to eat a very special tea. It's, uh, how are you this morning? It's called Nihari. It's like a meat stew. It's so rich. Um, and this is one of the best places in Karachi to eat it. Well, that was great. There's a couple different components to the dish. So he first scoops on the meat. Um, then he scoops on the like thick rich stew and then some of the red oil desi ghee on top yeah. Everything here is just massive and they have these like they're like podiums where they cook the food where they serve the nihari But then also the bread production you know, like star of the show is the shibal which is the a type of bread I've never seen before and then the real interesting part is when he takes it out and then I think that's just a pan full of water in a brick. Just sprinkles it with water and then this is the finished product. That's unique. We're all here. We're all ready. This is the crew for the day. The Karachi street food tour, the ultimate street food tour. Stare into the bread first and this is that special bread bowl. And yeah, that's amazing. I've never seen like water sprinkled on bread. This is the Nali Nihari. This is the signature with the bone marrow, with the meat. A little bit of, oh, it's just ultra tender. Oh man, and you want to kind of balance a little bit of the, a little bit of that stew along with that desi ghee. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. You can feel the chilies in that. And then the bread. It is almost like croissant style, like pastry dough. And then the Nihari has like a, almost like a, a cinnamony infused taste to it. You gotta sprinkle it with ginger, fresh ginger and fresh chili. This is one of the joys of eating Nihari. With the lime, that gives it that refreshing touch and the fresh chilies. That is a generous chunk of the cow brain. Oh, look at the creaminess of that. It looks like cottage cheese. You've got creaminess on top of richness, on top of richness, on top of creaminess. It's so creamy. This is like a one of the heartiest breakfasts you could possibly have in the world. That is not a dish you want to eat every day because it's so rich, but once in a while, that will just like satisfy you like nothing else. Thank you very much. One of the greatest things about being a food lover in Karachi is that it's such a mega city and it attracts people. People live here from all over every single tiny region of Pakistan. And so you'll find food from every region of Pakistan within Karachi. Where are we heading next? Burns Road. Burns, Burns Road? Yeah. Okay, and Burns Road is really known for its street food, right? We just made it to Burns Road, um, and it's kind of quiet today, I think, because it's a Sunday. Uh, but one thing you'll notice and one thing you'll love about Karachi are the buses. They kind of look like they're on their last leg. They've, they've been well used, but the decoration, they're so artistic. It's such a culture of the buses. It's so cool to see, and as you just drive by, you can just see so many different designs. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, this place is just bumping. Hey, how are you? How are you? Nice for travel. You are on Google? Oh, sorry, YouTube. This one is the Arabian Parata, and yeah, it's similar to things you'll find all across this entire region. Uh, he flattens out the dough, he fills it with that mixture, um, and then wraps it up into a pocket and, and into the oil to fry. It's shallow fry. I love the one-handed egg drop, and then he takes the spatula and just like flattens it into the meat. So he just cut it in four pieces. It's kind of like a, an entire like minced chicken omelet within the fry bread. Oh, 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 it's hot. Oh, shukriya, thank you. We didn't have any chairs at first, but the kind 
guy just brought a chair over. Shukriya. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, convenient. Did you see it? Something I really like. Oh, it's how they leave the cumin seeds whole. Mm. So like, like every now and then you get a whole crunch of the cumin seeds. So good. So interesting. Okay. Mmm. Mm. This is actually quite Arabic. It's very mild and spices. Oh, and he's serving tea, right? Right here, nice. Yeah, out of a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> he is performing for us. Oh, he's just moving into the road to dance. Wow, that is sweet. Thank you, man. Um, Nice to meet you, thank you. Yes. Matka kulfi. Matka. Mat matka kulfi. Matka kulfi. Um, and this is kulfi is like ice cream. Uh, but then this, these are unique because they're made and and frozen into little clay little cones. I think I got the pistachio first. Yeah. <laughs> Pistachio is great. Is it the koa in there again? Yep. Like reduced down, kind of like homemade condensed cream. What? Mm. Let's trade for the saffron. I gotta try oh, that saffron. Right <laughs> oh wow. You can really taste the saffron. It does have a really pronounced saffron taste to it. That was really good actually. A very unique ice cream eating experience. Kulfi. The highlight is just eating it out of the little clay cups, cones. Rabri. Rabri. Rabri, rabri here. Rabri. Okay. There's another thing in Karachi that we have to try. It's called Rabri. Okay, it's good. just gonna order one here. Um, it's all milk based. You can see kind of like some strands. Kind of like some strands in it as well. Oh, wow. It really has like a condensed milk taste to it. Yeah, but then at the same time, has like almost like string cheese in the middle of that like condensed milk yogurty sweetness. Of course, I was expecting it to be cold. It's like sweet curds. La beshiri. La beshiri. Yeah. That one is like kind of like a sweet yogurt with little jellies in it. We were just walking past him. We just smelled it um, and saw the the giant copper pot. Uh, he's serving biryani, and so we just we just decided to get a small plate just to try. We're all just gonna sample it, but this is such a cool place underneath a tree. Masala normal. Wow, pure. And he conveniently has some tables out here too. Oh, just try that rice first. It's such a long grain, such a fluffy rice, and what I can taste in then is like a. It tastes like it has a dry lemon flavor to it. Mm. What's really good to me about this is that dry lemon flavor. The aromatic foundation of this biryani. And this is just such a cool spot. I mean, you see the big copper metal pan. Just, oh, people are, are hanging around. This is a great spot. Shukriya. Very good. Shukriya. Laluket. Laluket. Laktabad Laluket. Laktabad Laluket. Okay, that's the, the name of this area. That way? This area is so congested and there's so much action going on. I mean, it's one of those areas where just everything is exciting and something is fascinating everywhere you look. The energy, the excitement. Uh, but there's this dish, it's called Nali Biryani. Now, Nali is the bone marrow and biryani. We already actually sampled some biryani earlier this morning, but this, this is Nali Biryani, so it's bone marrow biryani. He just took like shovelfuls of the bones, these are beef bones, um, and dumped them into the spices which are already simmering and just like, it just like shattered into the giant pots. Wow, that smells unbelievably good. <laughs> and 
and now that's just gonna simmer away until the rice is fully cooked and everything is mingled together in the pot. So they're making the biryani down the road, but then you walk down the road here, and this is where they're serving it. As he's dishing it out, every, with every spoon that he grabs, he hits the spoon on the side of the pot. He hits the side of that pan so fast, like I, my eye cannot even follow it. I, I'm like trying to film. I mean, I'm looking in my screen filming, and I cannot actually follow him hitting the spoon on the side. Something to quickly mention as they dish out our, our biryani. There are two spots. Um, they're both. They both, I believe, started around the same time, but they both serve the, the nari biryani. The more well-known spot is actually across the street here, um, but they happen to be closed on Sunday, but then they built this like indoor dining room. Uh, but this place, what's this place called? Madri, yeah, Madri biryani. Madri biryani. Madri nali biryani. I think they're serving our plate. It's not even a plate, but this is an entire metal like saucer wall. The heaviness of it. <laughs> Before we empty out the bone marrow, let's just try that rice, that fragrant rice. You can see it's fluffy. Oh, there's chilies in here. Yeah, oh, we saw those chilies like floating around in the, the sauce. <laughs> oh. Oh, the black pepper in there. That's like the first spice that I noticed. Asim is gonna help us with the bones. Oh, there it comes. He's like... Oh. 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 Dude, I can't believe that actually works. <laughs> I'm just amazed at how much marrow just came out. That just splattered all over the biryani. And they're still getting more. Oh. Just like pure butter whiteness just coming out of that bone. And we still got one more. Okay, I gotta, I gotta try it. Oh, <laughs> it's just like dripping with oil. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It looked <laughs> like a worm just fell out. Oh, look at that. Gotta hit it hard, man. Gotta hit it harder. Yeah. Like rice is kind of flying. I can hear like juices rattling in there. Yeah. Oh, there <laughs> it comes. <laughs> oh, 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 my fist is getting sore. But this is, I guarantee, this is one of the most fun meals. <laughs> you will ever have in your life. I'm kind of like just splattered in spice and rice. Wow. <laughs> More is coming out. Gosh, <laughs> He's looking now. <laughs> and you can see the whole spices, there's cinnamon, and I noticed the star anise in there too. But we gotta make a marrow bite that counts next. Let's go in, guys. Oh, hello. Oh, it's still so hot. Oh it's my so God. delicate. Marrow bite. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. No way. <laughs> it makes like the marrow makes butter feel tough. That's how soft and like melt in your mouth it is. Going from solid to liquid on your tongue. I need a marrow chunk on that bite. I literally. Biryani is one of my favorite, favorite dishes in the world. That is easily the best. It cannot be described how, <laughs> how much flavor was in every bite. Ali, what did you think? It was amazing. And uh, my, I'm not very regular with maru, but I think maru and biryani make a perfect lethal combination. Best food, biryani nali. It's blown me away. I have like a renewed sense of energy right now. Uh, we tried to pay, they would not accept payment. They wouldn't, they wouldn't take money from us, so they gave it to us. Uh, huge thank you, this is the spot. That is amazing biryani that will just blow your taste buds. Wipe the, the sweat and the marrow coming out of my pores. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was a, a game changer. A biryani game changer in Karachi. Video. You add this channel. Yes, I will add it. I will add it. Yes. Great. Nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. We all country people. We all Pakistani love to all country person, all people. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay. See you. Awesome. Really have a great day. Thank you. So many friendly people um, and we had to actually stop to ask around because there's so many alleys you can get lost It's a maze back here, but the next dish is supposed to be somewhere around the corner that we're gonna try to find 
Nahi. It's a vegetable salad and he puts masala on top of this. After having so much Nali Nihari and Nali yes. Biryani, we need some vegetables. We need some vegetables. And he is a master slicer. He like, he chops up the cucumber, just brrr, he's a machine slicer, just amazing, amazing chopping skills. And what's amazing is how he cuts the onion like in a, in like a floral, blooming shape. Street Karachi vegetable salad. It felt like the right thing we should do after eating that much uh, bone marrow in the morning. We need, we need some vegetables. some of the most amazing knife skills I've ever seen. That is what you call a hand chopped salad. Well, and one more thing I just noticed, the vegetables are sitting here on the cart, but he's using a windscreen. This is a car windscreen piece of glass, a windshield to, to hold the chopped vegetables like as the, as the countertop. The countertop is a windshield. That, this, this is the first for me. Okay, let's try some of this salad. We put the, we put the, the plate is in the cart. Quite a few people surrounding us. Um, but let's try this, this salad, man. I got an onion and one of the cucumbers. The masala and the lime juice, and it is so incredibly fresh tasting. I think these carrots are almost red. So sweet. That combination of the masala and the fresh squeeze of lime though, that's what makes it. Shukriya. Amazing. Shukriya. That was one of the coolest, I mean by far the coolest salad ever, but yeah, what a what a man, what skills. And actually we didn't even make it to the right place. The right the right the place that we're going to, which serves uh, fish takatak, is actually right next door here. And you can hear the, the clanking of the pan. <laughs> Uh, but it's usually made with a variety of meats and especially organs and brain. But this one is made with fish. The aromas and the steams and the smoke just pouring off of that griddle. Um, and then he makes a fresh batch, serves it. Like as soon as it's ready, he just like, like serves the entire thing and, and starts the process again. Wow, this is next level food. I think I got some chili smoke to the eyes on that batch. Uh, but this is the stall, this is the place. And then across the street, they have a seating section. Hey, hey, how are, how you? are you? Nice to meet you. I was you. just watching your video in the morning and I was thinking, hey, how can I, uh, you are not coming to Pakistan. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome it's to meet you. It's a complete surprise for me. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? My, my name is Salman, brother. Alman. Salman. Salman. Yes. Great. Very nice to meet I you. I was watching your video in the morning. We met the owner, a really friendly man. He's he's like one of a kind here too. Like he's the only one that makes the fish katakat. It's served with chapati. So we'll just try the, the fish first before we dig into the the, the, the extra chutney. Oh, that's masterful. Because the fish is deep fried, but then re fried on the hot plate, it has this like crunch around it. Unbelievably good. <laughs> that's just like a fish spiceful mashup. Oh, look at that chutney next bite. And it looks like coriander and chilies, and you can smell the mint, I believe, in there too. Mm. It's like full of herbs, actually. Mm -hmm. You think it's just pure chili, but it's actually full of herbs. We got a refill. The ultimate bite. Fish, then scoop up some onions on top of that. Extra onions. And finally, that unbelievable chutney. That chutney, you could drink it. It's so good. <laughs> and one more shout out to the salad man across the street. So friendly, so genuine. His cart is like right in front. Um, he walked over here and gave us an entire plate of salad, just with a smile on his face. 
and just dropped in on our table. And he has such fresh vegetables. I could not be happier. One of the greatest herb chili sauces I've ever had. Shukriya. You have eaten chutney a lot, right? Chutney. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That dish just blew my taste buds away again. Um, and that chutney, paired with that chutney, you will not go wrong. Karachi is just exceeding, blowing away my expect, my culinary expectations. Oh, first we're buying what? We are buying shalwar. Oh, yes. oh yes. Okay, we're buying some clothes first. We're going shopping for clothes first, and then Ali has set up something very unique. Uh, it's going to involve some livestock and some milk. Start vlogging, man. <laughs> Start vlogging. Yeah. This may be one of the greatest clothing investments I have ever made in my life. I just feel like I'm floating. This has to be the most comfortable outfit I've ever worn. It's so like breezy and airy, and this is exactly the the outfit, the look we needed for the next spot that we're going. Step outside of the car and just immediately the aroma. You can smell the buffaloes. This is Asia's biggest colony of buffaloes. So it's an entire it's a colony because it's an entire city. And basically every house, every home, every person here deals in buffaloes, raises buffaloes. Um, and this is where a lot of the dairy comes from. And one of the reasons I was so excited to come here is because, because milk and dairy is so important. It's essential in Pakistan and Pakistani food cuisine. Um, and, wow, I think we're gonna milk the buffalo. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, I just stepped into my, some poo. Wow, oh, no. that is a new experience oh, I've no, never had before. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, in my ear. <laughs> that milk is actually really good. That's as fresh as possible. That is a totally new experience. I have never had that kind of culinary experience in my life. The milk is so sweet, actually. Thank you for that. Whoa, you really have to squeeze. Are you getting it? Yeah, but how did you squeeze they're squeezing so hard? hard, man. Oh, <laughs> Dude, it's so sweet. <laughs> He's squeezing hard. Yeah. Like, and it, uh, it's such a technique. Okay, I gotta try squeezing But it's it. so sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's, it's wow. Just get a little trickle. It's really hard. You gotta yeah. squeeze. Wow, your forearms. That's the freshest milk mustache you will ever have in your life. Uh, and the buffalo colony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna sit down here now in front of the, the buffalo colony. Um, kind of relax, and I think we might oh. try. Wow, they're bringing out some fruit, but I think we might try some butter. Oh. Quick banana. In the meantime, I think that fresh milk was even sweeter than the banana. Oh. Oh. Oh, this one is the fresh butter. Butter. Yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah. Cook up some of the butter in the chapati right now. Oh, 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 that's just unprocessed, pure butter. Butter. Mm. That is a mouthful of butter. It's so rich, but so pure tasting. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Well, that is the best yogurt you'll ever have. It's sour. And that's it. There's also some a vegetable dish, which I think this is just a bonus. I don't think this includes dairy. Some kind of a local vegetable. Thank you. It's so good. It's rich and creamy. A little bit of cardamom in there. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. As we were leaving, they informed us that within this colony there are 700 to 800,000 cows and buffaloes. That's a magnificent amount. But what's amazing is that it's right within Karachi. It's an entire colony and that it's like so decentralized because every family um, just owns a, an amount and has a little dairy farm. Huge thank you to Mr. Shakir. Uh, for showing us around and to Ali for uh, setting it up. We experienced an ultimate Karachi traffic jam that took three hours. We were, in, we were stuck in a traffic jam for three hours it took to drive here. It's called Dua Restaurant. It's like a football field sized like seating area. They have a massive barbecue section and a massive karahi station, but they're just, it's, this entire restaurant is just like going up in a billow of smoke and fire. Um, what an atmosphere. They are like just cooking meat for the entire like sports field <laughs> in the front. Wow, what a spot. <laughs> This is one of the most impressive assembly line cooking stations I have ever seen. They are just flying on the karahis, uh, just like bubbling like a lava curry sensation in the karahi and that goes straight to your table. The mixed grill has just arrived and I just have to pick up this platter for you to fully appreciate it. It is like the size of a baby carriage. <laughs> Look at this. This one is the prawn karahi, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start with this since it's right in front of me. You can just see the little prawns, the desi ghee on top, the chilies, and the ginger. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's so spicious. You've got, you can taste all of the dry spices in there, the cumin, the chilies, the little prawns, the ginger. We were just talking, there's no recipes. I mean, they have a recipe, but no measurement. We literally, literally just take that spatula and just like sprinkles in the spices and gets it perfect every single time. That knowledge, that experience, wow, that is masterful. Okay, next I gotta try the the um, the mutton karahi, then the mutton karahi is very famous here. Unbelievable tender. You taste a little bit of a tomatoey flavor to it. Because they mash up those tomatoes inside of it. Again, the, the like the harmony of spices. It looks like kingfish. I believe it's kingfish grilled. And they just grill it over a raging hot fire. That dry spice blend. And just like grilled until smoky perfection. <laughs> Taste that with a tomato. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Food here is just spectacular. <laughs> that is sensational. Again, I'm just blown away by Pakistan, the food culture, the people and Karachi. Man, what a day it's been. Now, once you finish your meal, and if you look around, almost everybody, well, there's like people in, uh, across the playing field that are in the position, but once you finish with your meal, it's, I wouldn't say it's mandatory, but yes, it is mandatory to get into the position where you elbow down on the pillow. And this is my first time in the position in the right clothes, in the right attire. This is one of the most comfortable, like, 
positions after you eat that you will ever have in your life. My, my good friend Ali knows that very well. That's my signature position. That's my default position. Right after having fallen position. Yeah. I don't even have to make an effort. I actually automatically go into this position. Yeah, I saw him just kind of slide into that position after he took his last bite. And now you can actually like have a conversation and just socialize and lay around for the rest of the evening. It's been an action-packed day. It's already midnight right now. We've been eating since since 8.30 a.m. Um, and an unbelievable day, incredible food. Karachi, you have been very, very good to us. I wanna say a huge thank you to Ali and Sharuz for showing me around Karachi. Um, and thank you to Ali from uh, Landmark Communications and Landmark Travel for preparing everything for, organizing everything for this Pakistan trip. It's been absolutely uh, one of the most rewarding trips of my entire life.